Hi and welcome to Create a Niche Website. How to use Homestead to create your niche marketing website in a very cost effective way. And quite often you can get started with a five page website uh, for well under $120 with Homestead. And that's what I'm going to show you today. How to get your basic site up and running, uh, five pages, very quickly within, a, within 30 minutes uh, normally. And uh, the, the longest part of this whole process is having your content ready to put onto your website. So it's very exciting for people who are just starting out. You can do this within an hour quite often and if you know what you're doing you can do it within 30 minutes. And uh, it's quite simple. So the first step to do is to go to Homestead, that's the platform that we'll be using there. And once you click on to Homestead it will take you through to a page that looks like this. And um, so you want to click on the Get Started Now 50% Off Sale. So that link is what takes you to this 50% Off Sale. And then when you click on Get Started Now, it takes you through to what you see here. And I'll just move this over for you. Um, you'll see the uh, website starter package here. So at this period in time, you pay $73.79. And then that from after from there on after you pay one hundred nine ninety nine. Sometimes that price will change; it varies slightly. Um, but as of now, it's one hundred nine ninety nine US. Uh, so you're going to get the site builder light, um, which is the online site builder, which is probably all you need to get started. And I'll talk to you about the the, the standard site builder, which you can download to your computer and do advanced editing with. And that's what I use on all of my sites now is just the normal site builder. And I've downloaded that and it works uh, perfectly. And I've optimized websites to get on the first page of Google quite easily with that. Um, you get your personalized domain name. So, for example, www.yoursitename.com. That's part of uh, this one hundred nine ninety nine after or the seventy three seventy nine, and a thirty day phone uh, support with Homestead themselves, and they're very good, and um, unlimited email support, which is um, their support is very good. I've used them numerous times, and they've um, always gotten back to me in a, in a timely manner. Um, you also get uh, some good uh, amount of disk space, which you probably will never use up unless you're uploading really big video files or things like that. So once you go through this process, you go to your billing information, it asks you to review your order and then click the confirm button. Once you click submit and go through all that process, you'll be taken to a start page. Now, this is what it looks like inside the Homestead uh, interface. And so it'll, it'll start you at the getting started page and you're going to see something that's going to be asking you for what domain name you want to register. Um, and it'll be something like a name this is not normally here when you first land here it'll be asking you to um, pick a name so your name will be if we go back to websites manager I'll show you we just wait for this page to load okay normally over here it has uh, whatever the domain name you want to call it is dot homestead dot com so you initially um, say that's what you want and then you go through and you pick your template that you like so there's a whole bunch of templates that you can choose from and uh, it's really there's hundreds of them literally hundreds if not thousands of them to choose from so you can search by color scheme by industry by your niche uh, or you can start uh, with a blank one like I did with this very simple site here for LibbyDeadman.com uh, and uh, away you go so once you've done that it brings you back to uh, your site you'll see your site template here you'll be able to click on the blue button here to edit that now when you click on edit it takes you through to uh, the the um, site builder light version now before I take you through there actually it's going to do it now for you all right so what you see here you might get a little message down the bottom of your website that says show all content so what you want to do is just click yes that's not a security risk at all for your computer and we wait for this to load and there's two sides to this screen. The first side is over here to the right. You'll see your add an image button. You'll see add text, uh, add your forms for your contact page, and you can create your new page. Um, if you you might only have a few pages up there or one or two pages, depending on the template that you start with. So you can click there and create a new page. It's all very straightforward. You've got a tutorial here that runs you through it and then if you want to do more which is going to be a subject all on its own is how to use the site builder and so I'll go back and I'll tell you about this very shortly in the next video that we do over to the left 
you're going to see the pages open for editing. So you've got about me speaking and whatnot. And here's your menu here. And then you've got the page itself. Now, if you click inside of any one of these areas, just say you wanted to edit this, you're going to notice that a word processor type drop down um, comes into here. So you can edit anything in here and you can change the font, you can change the size of the font and the color. And you can create a link. So you could link that a hyperlink to another website or to an email address or whatever you wanted to. You can center the text, right align it, and you can bold, underline, and italicize just like you can in a web in a, a word processor. So over here you can move your um, bits and pieces around just by clicking on each area. So you just basically click on it and say, yep, I want to move it around. And it's, it's drop, uh, drag and drop simple. So what we've done down here is I've put in a form. Now these forms aren't editable because I've done these in the actual site builder, the downloadable advanced version. So that's what you can do. And I've changed the menu system so I can't edit this per se now until I open it up in the offline site builder which is a more comprehensive version of this. So we'll go through that now but basically that's your site builder. To get out of here or to publish you just click on publish if that's the changes I'd want to do I'd click on publish. I won't do that though now I'll just go go to my account and it will ask me if I want to save the changes I'll say no. So just remember that when you're editing online if you say yes you're going to save all of those changes. So we'll just wait now for the main page to load and uh, I'll show you the one last step you need to do to get your domain name active. While we're waiting for the page to load, remember that uh, you won't be getting an email with your initial package with five pages and for the $109.99 a month, a year, sorry. Uh, that's email functionality and 100 pages is I think a couple of hundred dollars more a year so it's like three hundred and fifty dollars a year as opposed to 109 so it's still very good value and you get your email I think you get five emails and you can upgrade at any time so this is the fastest way remember that I'm showing you how to get set up here so once you've gone and done that you can go to your domains so all you'll see is getting started website manager and domains these will pretty much be gone email and web listings I think add-on services will be there um, but you can always remember to go up to your account in the top right hand corner and help which will show you um, the helps very good you click on that and you can go to view help and once you go into view help there's a, a ticketed area where you can create help tickets to ask how do I upgrade and how do I do different things so what you're going to see once you get to your domain area is you'll see get a new domain you want to put your domain name in here so you for example if your domain name was your domain you type that in and you go check availability and that will check it'll go away and it'll check the uh, availability of this domain and if yours is unique it will come back and say yes it's done we'll just wait and I'll show you what I mean here okay that's not a unique domain okay so it gives you some suggestions of what you need and it'll also tell you you know um, if you've been in there for a while and you're wanting to register other domains it has other little notes down the bottom that you can read that are specific to your account you may not see this message so take no notice of that and so you could choose any of these if they were something that you wanted to do and you could say yep I want that one when you do the next lights up and you click next and it takes you through a process of contact info privacy and a review to make sure that that's exactly what you want and bang once you do that it connects you up and so when you type in the domain you've got in here once it's live and ready to go which is normally I think a day or two uh, you have a website up and running uh, with your domain name and it's as simple as that so I hope this has helped you uh, learn a little bit more about Homestead and how fast and inexpensively you can get set up with a niche website I'll talk to you in the next video